Great stuff can sometimes be called a great mess. These cans are fairly expensive, especially if you only get to use half of the contents. The instructions say it can seal itself shut. One time use should be expected, but I can usually keep them going. I am showing you a process which has worked reliably for me. However, try it at your own risk. Immediately after use, some of the foam will continue to expand. You just get hold of that, twist it a little bit. Sometimes it'll pull out of the center. Measure the depth of the open tube for reference. You don't want to stick the screw in there too far. It's never a good idea to do this, but you can get away with it if you're careful. Turn a drywall screw in there a couple of turns, and you can usually pull the foam out of there. Always want to wear gloves when you're doing this. That one got it. It came out clean. And out comes the foam. I usually leave the nozzle and everything on the can when I'm done and let all of this cure out. And this might be sitting here for a couple of days or a week. Unscrew this. And the inside of that tube on the can is clean. Mainly because this material continues to expand and the gas pushes the remaining foam up the tube. Get a hold of this and twist it a little bit and then pull. And sometimes, you can't see it with this one, but sometimes that little piece that's down inside the, the tube will come out with that. Now this doesn't come out clean, but you can take this tube here and twist it, pull on it at the same time, and that tube will come off the end of this nozzle. You can take that tube, piece of coat hanger or stiff wire, and just push it through the end of that and make sure that that's open. And then just snap that all the way back onto the, the nozzle. When you screw this on, you always want to make sure that the base of this nozzle is firmly against the shoulder so it doesn't leak. And we're open again. Once you spray the foam, you want to leave this alone and let it cure until it's done. You can see this foam, it's not expanding. That's because there's not much gas left in the can. They always tell you to shake the can before you use it, and at least in part, that's to mix the contents with the gas that's in the can. You'll see some recommendations that say to hold this can upright and to blow the contents out of the tube with the gas in the can. And that's not a good idea because you have a limited amount of gas in this can and you need every bit of it to make all of this foam work. The gas that's in this foam, if you go messing with this, you're squeezing the air out of that foam and all you're going to have left is that. Leave it alone, let it cure, and then you can cut it off or trim it later. I clean these applicator nozzles and tubes repeatedly and use them from can to can and save the new applicators. Occasionally you'll break one and not often but sometimes you'll get one or something wrong with it. It's always handy to have a few extra. This is an open cell foam and the cells are somewhat interconnected. I cut off the outside skin. Place this in water and squeeze. Then this is an example of how it can hold water. Not a good thing, but it is a characteristic of a low density open cell foam. For anyone who thinks this is fireproof, it's not. I wouldn't even call that fire resistant. If you get some of this on something and it's still wet, the mineral spirits will take it off. Once it gets to where it's sticky, the mineral spirits will no longer touch it, then you have to go to acetone. And this has been dry for about a day, and acetone will take it off, surprisingly. Works pretty well. Just remember when you're using acetone that this will dissolve some plastics.
If you want to cut this foam, a sharp razor blade will work, but a serrated knife works a lot better. I didn't have one of these in my toolbox, so I borrowed it from the kitchen. Makes a pretty nice cut. If you're trying to trim something away in a tight area, just pull the knife towards you, bend that out of the way, and slice it like so. It's an open cell material, so it is a bit rough. Then you wash it, dry it, put it back in the kitchen drawer, and your wife will be none the wiser.